Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to a new video and today I'm continuing my redstone series and uh, I will be showing you some logic gates today and um, it will start off easy but it can become quite some harder pretty fast so um, just take notice of what I'm doing I'm not going to stand still by every logic gate for um, like a whole long time but uh, you can find most of these things, actually all of them on the Minecraft wiki, I will put a link in the description where you can check these and some other, um, yeah, how uh, logic gates and I and how to make them. Um, all right, so um, let's start off with this one, the AND gate. I already showed you it before, and what it basically does is when um, one is powered, it won't work. When the other one is powered, it won't work. But when they're both powered, the output will. Um, be activated so only if both are powered and um, this can be quite useful and you may need to, to use this m uh, for several things so um, keep that one in mind it's pretty useful and it's built like this and um, yeah moving on to a very simple one the simplest and which is the OR gate and yeah it basically is when any OR is on or when they are both on the signal will be powered and uh, yeah that's just very easy now though something a bit more difficult the XOR gate it basically does the same as the OR gate but there's one difference um, when you press when you um, do one it will be activated just like the OR gate when you do the other one it will be activated just like the OR gate the output so um, the only difference is when you uh, change them both the output will be negative again and um, this can be very useful because no matter what switch you ch uh, you uh, change the output will will always be um, different will always change and um, I will show you an example later on in which I've used an XR gate so moving on here we've got a clock or a pulser whatever you want to call it it's um, stuck right now but um, see there you go this can be very useful for um, several things you can for example um, for a very easy example hook a dispenser up to this and um, make this be activated with I don't know a pressure pad or a button and that will continuously start shooting arrows if you hook it up to a dispenser with arrows in it so um, yeah cool thing with this is with redstone um, repeaters you can actually slow it down to any type or um, speed you want so um, let me just put it on s the slowest right now and let's do this and let's power it again and now you can see it is very slow so that's basically what a repeater does it's pretty simple pretty basic and um, now we get to this um, this right here is um, a rapid pulser it's very easily to be made. It's just a block with four redstone torches, one on each side, and above each torch, another block. What you then want to do is put one redstone in the middle and just watch how the magic happens. Pretty awesome, right? It is a bit more random than this one, and um, yeah, as you can see, it's also faster. And that's basically what it does. Now let's turn this off so those sounds are gone. Alright. Okay, moving on to another um, actual much used gate. It's an RS NOR latch. And um, what it basically does is that it gives you um, two buttons. And when you press one, one output will be activated. And one will, other one will be um, deactivated. And when you press the other one, that will be switched around. So as you can see, when I, when I press this one, this one will always be activated and when I press the other one this one will be activated now you can also see that when I press it again it doesn't change it again so um, yeah this will give you two options for buttons and um, yeah it's also pretty useful because it makes 
button into an active signal. That's pretty cool. So you can um, just use one to activate it and use this as a reset knob, for example. A reset knob? That's Dutch. I mean, a reset button. God. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, let's just uh, move on. Right here. Um, what do we actually have here? I've got no idea what's this called. I call it a kill switch. Um, what this basically does is you've got a normal operating functioning redstone circuit. I've got a very simple one here. But when you hit this one, and this is the kill switch, the redstone circuit will not work anymore. Until you deactivate the kill switch again, and then it works again. This is done very simply by just having a piston block of the signal. As you can see now it's activated, it goes over there. But when I activate the piston, it will be disconnected. It's very, very easily done. Alright, so now let's go to um, one very advanced logic gates, which is used uh, quite often actually. And this right here is called a T flip-flop. And what it basically does is that it makes a button into a lever. Yes, all this redstone is needed to make a button into a lever. Now um, this is very difficult so um, I'm not going to stand here for a very long time. You can find it on the Minecraft wiki again on how to make it. But um, yeah, it could be quite useful if you need it. But there is a simpler version of it and that is this one right here. It is though not as the, um, as reliable as, the, as this one because this one relies on a bug in Minecraft. And that bug is that when um, uh, a piston is powered for a very short time it will retract again without taking block with it. As you can see Now um, you can definitely see this is a sticky piston, and what it should do is um, let me just turn it back. What it should do is when it's activated, actually uh, push this button to here. But then when it's activated, it should take the block back to this state. But when it's just because of this contraption, it will be only be powered for a very short time, and therefore it will be um, it won't take the block back with it itself, as you can see. And um, it's just created like this. It's very simple. I'm not sure if this is on the Minecraft wiki, actually, I believe it isn't. So I'm um, just take a good look. I've got a, a stone block with a repeater set to this state. Just like this. And stuff. And um, yeah, I guess you can figure it out just by watching this. But um, yeah, I really recommend using this one if you don't have like a shortage on space because this one is more reliable. So um, those were just a few basic logic gates, nearly not all, but um, yeah, uh, I, I've made a few examples of what you can do with these things, so um, let's check those out. Alright, so here I am, and um, yeah, let me start off with showing you a fun little bug, and um, this is um, pretty useful if you want to like tech griefers or so because this um, is the bug when you power this block right here with a redstone repeater right connected to it um, you can remove this block and this one will be will be uh, s this will be stay powered it won't change like this until you update any block next to it so when I update a block here it will go up off but also when I remove this one it will go off as well and um, yeah, how to use it as a grief tool, an anti-grief tool actually. Oh, whoops! Shouldn't have removed that one. Should remove this one first. But um, you can use it just to like this. Just hook it up like that. Oh, I should have done that before. I uh, kind of messy today, but whatever. Ah! Come on. <laughs> there we go. Um, and connect this to like TNT or any trap you want and now some griefer will be going oh my god look at that guy's house I'm gonna destroy it and then he'll start destroying blocks and blah 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 and then he hits this one and there you go oh my god no 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 and 
he will die because he's not in creative mode. <laughs> Anyhow, um, let's actually continue. This right here is the classic problem of the double doors. When you put a uh, pressure place in front of them, they won't be opening correctly. One will always be opened and the other one will always be closed. So that's kind of sucks. And um, yeah, my OCD doesn't allow me to do this like this. And um, it, my OCD doesn't allow me to place a one door at um, like this either because that would look unsymmetrical and that is ugly in my opinion I don't like it and my OCD doesn't allow me to make it so what we can make is this right here there you go double doors and um, it's much easier than you might think I've got it um, opened up here a bit as you can see what I, all I've done is just took the redstone wiring here put one side through an inverter and the other side I haven't put uh, through an inverter and there you go now this one will will be uh, off and this will, one will be on and when the pressure plates um, are activated the opposite will happen and they will both open it at the same time now the beauty of this is that you can very easily hide this no one will be able to see this and um, yeah there you go just another example now moving on to this. This is a very inefficient cacti uh, farm, so um, don't go recreate this farm because it sucks. But um, yeah, this is just a small little thing I made. I've got a pulsar here, a very long one, connected to a row of pistons. And um, this thing will show me if there are any um, drops, because that they will fall into this pressure plate, uh, which is activated, hooked up to that one. So um, let's activate it. As you can see, there goes the signal, and there goes the, uh, the pistons. And now, as those come over to there, they will drop on the pressure plate, and there you go. It's that easy. It is. Um, let's see. I still got this one. Got too much to cover, so um, gotta hurry up. Um, this is my secret little door can see when you press it, it won't happen. It won't open. It doesn't really matter what you do, it won't open. That kind of sucks, but um, there is a way to open it, and it's um, by actually holding it for three times. So, hold it, hold it, hold it, and it will open. Even though it was kind of failing. There you go. And uh, how this is done is um, that it uses AND gates. As I said before, these are used a lot so um, when um, this is, uh, is activated by two signals must activate it for this one to become activated so what I do is when um, one goes through here this one won't reach it in time because of the repeaters they are set to the um, slowest state it won't reach it in time so um, it won't so this one will be activated and this won't and when this one is activated this one isn't activated anymore so what you need to do is when you hold it, it will actually keep activated, and then it will work. And I've just done the same again here, just to make it uh, three times. Now about locked doors, let's move on again. And here we go, here we've got a very simple lock. When you're outside, let's just say that this is the outside of the house, you can just open the door with this button right here. But when you're on the inside, you've got this lock when you hit the lock um, you're inside and when you press the button on the outside you can't open the door anymore until you open the lock from the inside and the button on the inside will still work because that's directly <laughs> next to the door and again made use of an end gate only when this one is on um, the door will be opened because then this one will get power and it will get power to that so um, yeah you can this of course ugly as hell but you can very easily hide all the redstone wiring so um, yeah let's hurry up and go to the last example which I just made again very ugly redstone don't uh, mind that but here is the XOR that I said I'd show you um, I've, uh, this is basically just think of this as a tunnel or something into a cave 
I know, somewhere it's dark, it will need some awesome lighting. So um, I'll show you it first. Let's go inside here. You can see it's dark, very dark, until I hit this lever over here. And there you go. And I actually added some repeaters to make it go, like this one first, and then that one, and then that one. But um, yeah, basically what this does is, um, yeah, it uh, activates a signal to this one, to the piston, and there's lava in here and that will drop onto the glass. So it's very easily, but the thing with this is, it doesn't really, m there are two, but two levers, that one over there, and this one in the distance. And because of the XR gate, it doesn't matter which um, lever you press, it will always be changed. Uh, let's see, ah, there it goes on again. So you can use this one or that one, it really doesn't matter, it always works. So that's a cool use for the XR gate. And um, yeah, that was pretty much all I've got to show you for the examples. Um, I want to thank you for watching, I'm sure you can do some useful stuff with this. So um, yeah, go check it out. Share, uh, make some creation of your own would love to see them would be pretty awesome but uh, yeah for now thanks for watching i hope you learned something and uh, i'll see you next time